Everybody, QuestWise here, and today I wanted to talk about my love of comic books, uh, as well as role-playing <clears throat> and other types of gaming. Um, I, for me, and I don't know how it is for you out there, but for me, comic books and role-playing sort of always went hand-in-hand. Um, I was a comic book fan first. Uh, I read a lot of Marvel comics when I was a kid. Uh, and then I was introduced to role-playing. And one of the role-playing games that I was introduced to uh, was Heroes Unlimited by Palladium Books. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Other Strangeness, also by Palladium Books. And so for me... Uh, I was super excited about getting in the hobby um, because of comic books um, and their sort of co correlation together, uh, together to be able to take the cool stories that I had been reading about via comic books and bring them to life and creating my own stories, my own heroes, uh, and with heroes from comic books. Now, I'm not going to be talking about this Conan series today. Uh, but I had this out here because this is part of the story I want to tell you today. I went to my friendly local comic book store, which is called Top Comics. It's here in Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, if you're ever here, it's definitely worth stopping by and checking out. Um, it's small but mighty is how I would describe it. The, it's not, the building is not very big, uh, but the staff there is phenomenal. And it's because of their awesomeness that I'm going to be talking to today. Anyhow, the reason I went into the shop the other day, last week, was to pick up this, the new Conan, um, Conan the Barbarian, which is now, uh, the license is reverted back to Marvel. <clears throat> and I wanted to see, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a huge Conan fan, if you haven't been able to tell some of the previous other videos I've done, but I really wanted to pick these up and check them out. Um, cool covers, sorry about the glare, I have them in plastic. Um, that'll go away here in just a few minutes. Anyhow, I went in to get this. I went in to get actually just this one. I didn't realize the issue number two was out. So, of course, naturally, I had to grab that as well. But while I was there, I also noticed that there was a variant cover for number one. Uh, and I'm a sucker for a variant cover. So I grabbed that as well, too. Before I left, though, the owner of the shop said he wanted to show me something and that he had a comic that he felt was right up my alley, something that I would really, really enjoy. Um, and uh, he's, they've, ne they've, they've never steered me wrong before. So what he showed me was a comic that blew my mind, and I knew instantly that I had to share this with you uh, as it combines mo both my love of comics and my love of role-playing, and that is Die. This is put out by Image Comics. Um, I, I don't know where to even start talking about this. I'm not going to show you everything that's inside of it because I don't want to spoil the awesomeness that this is for any of you. But I, I would highly recommend if you're a role player, uh, especially if you're an old school role player who remembers um, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon of the 80s to go check this out. Um, uh, amazing. Anyhow, die number one. There are two issues out, uh, currently. This is the second one. Um, instantly after finishing the second one, I, I, I sent a Facebook message to the owner of the comic book store and said, you know what? I want you to put this on my pull list because this is something I want to continue to follow. Um, so image comics, I want to try to, let's see. Oh, here's a, so this is what really nabbed me, right? The back of this has a quote from Tolkien that reads, I'm not at all sure that the tendency to treat this whole thing as a kind of vast game is a really a good. Certainly not for me who finds that kind of thing only too fatally attractive. So instantly, Tolkien quote on the back, I was hooked. Even better, the quote on the back of the second one, from Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson, rules, what rules, right? I'm hooked. I'm, I'm, I'm in. Uh, so the, the premise behind this, um, 
And what's really nice is at the back of this, there is a uh, a letter from from uh, Kieran and Kieran Gillen. Kieran Gillen, sorry, Kieran, if I messed up your name, uh, who's the writer of this particular comic? And he talks about his inspiration for this. Uh, and his inspiration actually came from a discussion he had with his friends um, about the... Uh, sorry about the dog barking in the background. As always, she's always barking. Uh, anyhow, a discussion he had with his friends about the 1980s Dungeons & Dragons cartoon and about how the, the show was canceled before the kids ever made it back home. And um, the discussion of whether or not the kids ever made it back home or if not, why, what happened to them while they were there. And thus came this very dark and brooding and awesome comic called Die. Now the reason it's called Die, I feel like there's a play on word here, right? So we're talking about a die, a single, you know, a, a, as a group of dice, a singular one would be called a die. And also the fact that it's a very deadly thing things bad things have happened to these kids who have uh have mistaken upon this game and thus sort of the mortality of the word to die i feel like there's a double uh play on the words there uh but the whole thing and like i said i'm not going to show you the whole thing i just want to i'm going to give you a brief overview the artwork is beautiful uh let's see if i can zoom in here a little bit uh so you can see the artwork is really really well done um, but these kids go to a birthday party in which uh, in 1991 obviously uh, and they're going to be playing a game and I think it's gonna be D&D &D when the kid who's running the game decides he's going to create his own game and share it with them and so pulls out this set of dice anyhow in it, inadvertently they go into this fantasy world uh, they're pulled into it, and years later, they come back. Uh, they become heroes, and the, being a hero uh, is a loose term in which they sort of embody uh, the characters that they've uh, decided to portray. And as you can see, the game, uh, the, the book is very dark, um, and the book is very sort of these undertones of, of decadence and falling apart. And if you can see up here, the, the tower is starting to fall away. Characters are very brooding and very sort of gothic and, um, uh, you know, this, this gory red at the bottom and stuff. An amazing, amazing comic. I cannot say enough about this. I could talk for about this for hours. If you get a chance, go check this out. It's called Die. It's put out by uh, Image Comics. Uh, grab the first two issues. I'm not entirely certain when the third issue comes out, but this is an ongoing series. I can tell you right now, I cannot wait for the next issue to come out. I am so excited to see where this is going to go. But if you're a fan of anything, and it doesn't have to be necessarily, it's not necessarily fantasy. It is in a sense, but it's more of a science fantasy. Uh, one of the characters actually plays a, a, a class called a cyberpunk, where she's sort of interconnected with technology and she has a cybernetic arm and, and craziness. So um, it's not entirely fantasy focused. Um, but if you're a fan of anything role playing, if you're if you remember at all the days of the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon and you always thought to yourself, man, this is really while meant to be lighthearted was sort of a dark and weird tale. Die is the comic for you. Go check this out right now. Run. Don't walk. Uh, get your copy as soon as you can. You will thank me, and uh, you'll you'll be hooked as well, too. You'll be adding this to your pull list as well. So if you're a fan of comics as well as role-playing or any type of gaming, Die Number 1 by Image Comics. Go get it today. Thanks. I'm QuestWise, and I'm out.